come back to my channel. So uh, I'm an Nokia fan from Malaysia. Most of the uh, upper end segment of the device doesn't actually make it into this country. So most of us here have to resort into uh, importing this device or buying from sellers from other countries, which means we don't actually have an official warranty for the devices. So some of us who are hardcore Nokia fans, we do actually go the extra mile of getting these devices. And I'm very, very excited today because uh, the Nokia 8.3 5G just arrived. So this device is not officially available in Malaysia. Uh, in Asian countries, it is available in Hong Kong, Taiwan, Vietnam, and uh, not in many other countries, unfortunately. So I've been waiting for this device since it was first uh, mentioned in March 2020. Then after that, COVID happened, and so many things get delayed and eventually when the news got out that Nokia 3 is going to be officially available then we realized the sad truth that it is not going to be available in many countries so this is one of the things that are quite sad with the direction with uh, which HMD is currently pursuing so um, I do hope that they uh, do something about it uh, I'm also expecting the announcement of the Nokia 7.3 to occur anywhere between uh, early of November or mid November just to be uh, on time for the sales for Christmas so that is still something we uh, still something debatable actually so this is the Nokia 8.3 5G I'm from Malaysia it is not available here I bought it from a store from Taiwan and it is very fast it was officially uh, sold in Taiwan on 15th of uh, this month 15th of August and then they ship it on the same day to Malaysia and I got it today uh, which is very fast so uh, how safe it is this is my Nokia 5.3 uh, which I also bought from the same store it arrived in one piece and uh, I've been using it on and off and there's no issue with Play Store or updating the device this is unlike the device from China where it doesn't come with Play Store so uh, Nokia 5.3 from Taiwan behaves the same as you would expect uh, it comes with a standard room uh, with Play Store, so no issues about it. So without further ado, we're going to check what are the contents of the Nokia uh, 8.3 5G. So, um, so this is the Nokia 8.3 5G. Uh, it comes with two years of uh, Android upgrade which is quite common with all HMB devices but the questions I have one of the main ones is because this device is stated as uh, Android 11 ready so I don't know whether we would be getting Android 12 and Android 13 or since the device actually ships with Android 10 so we will be getting Android 11 and Android 12 so can't seem to get a clear answer about that uh, nobody seems to have mentioned about this either so I'm not really sure so other than that, I think you all know um, this is a 5G device. Uh, it runs on the Snapdragon 765G platform. So the G platform, the G in this uh, 765G means is actually a gaming processor. Uh, regarding 5G, uh, Malaysia still is running some trial for 5G. So it's not widely available. At least it's not available where I am at the moment. The others are standard affair. You've got a 64 megapixel primary sensor, which is pure view branded. Um, Zeiss cinematic option for video shooting. You've got pure display with pixel works. Uh, at the same time, this device was actually announced when they mentioned the collaboration with the pixel works team. I tried to reach out with uh, HMD to get further clarification regarding which pixel work uh, version are they using. So I didn't seem to get a clear answer from that because uh, if I'm not mistaken, Oppo uh, Pro F2 which was um, announced at the same time was using the latest version which was version 5 and I believe this is actually version 3 which explains the lack of any fast refreshing rate so other than that, you've got your standard Ozo audio with 3D spatial surround sound and uh, this is a dual SIM device uh, with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage so let's open it
So this is the beautiful Nokia 8.35G and uh, it's quite big actually, it's quite big. We'll get back to this. So SIM ejector tool. We've got some startup guide, warranty information, which we won't be able to use in this country anyway. Uh, got a nice silicone case here, and it's Nokia branded, so it's quite nice. Uh, has some texture to it. We'll get back to this later. So a USB-C charger, earphone which looks quite okay and this is the charger pin tab that we will be getting if you are purchasing from Taiwan. No issues, just get a 3 ringgit adapter and just fix to it or you can use any standard Qualcomm charger. So this is uh, I believe this is the 18 watt charger. Yep. So that is all the contents is. Uh, the one from Taiwan has no uh, additional gifts with the purchase unlike in UAE or in uh, from uh, UK. So all we get is the higher configuration of Nokia 8.3 and that's about it. So let's open it. I think this is what Sarvika did to us months ago and I have to say that uh, this is very beautiful build the color gradients are really nice really shiny surface reminds me of the Nokia 9 Pure View and it's a very very tall device in terms of the weight uh, it's not really that heavy and uh, if I'm not mistaken it is about 200 grams, 200 grams plus but uh, it's not really heavy because it's distributed over a wider build so yep everything looks nice and shiny this is the device you've got the front facing camera here on the top you've only got a microphone the 3.5 millimeter head jack is at the bottom along with the USB-C charger and the bottom firing speaker. On the right hand side, you've got the fingerprint scanner which is bundled into the power button which is I think one of the most genius thing HMD came up with. You've got the volume rack rocker and also the SIM insertion side. On the left is the uh, Google Now button. So all in all, a very shiny device very beautiful I think this device will definitely catch the attention of anybody who's passing by and looking at your device so uh, let's see what type, of, what type of SIM card this this phone supports So you can see that although it supports dual SIM, the one of it is actually a hybrid SIM where it's either a SIM card or an SD card. Uh, anyhow, it doesn't matter because I'll be only be using a single number for this. So that's a quick unboxing of the Nokia 8.35G. And I have to say that this is one of the most beautiful devices made by HMD so far. So, if you want to see more contents on the Nokia 8.35G, uh, just subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you want to know about this device and I'll try my best to uh, answer your questions as soon as possible. See you in the next one.